So now our local business feature this week, we have it live, we have a real live person. We often record <laughs> these with Lisa Cannon, Miss Leela Sassafras. There you go. That is the name. So you're very welcome. And I know I have seen lots of your art and craft down the last couple of years. So it's lovely to have you on and chat. We all know you. I think there was a clip today of you on 2FM with your cousin. And what was it Ian Dempsey had nicknamed you when you were like 16 or something? Smile a while. Smile a while. You're possibly yeah. the smiliest person I've ever encountered <laughs> in my life. I'd say you could get shot in the knee and you'd be smiling. Right? So it's a lovely trait. You always warm a room when you come in. So we're lovely to have you in our room. So I do have to ask you firstly, where did Miss Leela Sassafras come from? Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, well, uh, the Leela part came from my niece not being able to say Lisa. Ah, okay. So she called me Leela and then lots of other people call me Leela since then and still do. Um, and Sassafras came from... If it's, if it's dodgy now, you know, you don't have to. <laughs> There's a bit I of sass there. I won't, there is, there is. I won't tell the whole story. Uh, I was in um, New York and Philadelphia doing... Um, promoting Tullamore Jew, I had a band oh, yes. and it was trad and pop music mixed together and this lady came up at the end and uh, she's like, you so sassafras to me. <laughs> so uh, then all the lads started calling me sassafras. So the Leela and sassafras got put together. So good old nicknames, no, nothing nicknames, like it in Ireland, but you didn't have to, you got yours from America. I did, yeah. But I was going, where did sassafras come from? So now yeah. we all know that little bit. Apparently it's a plant, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll take out that. Yeah. Keep, keep, <laughs> keep let people's sassy. imagination, keep it sassy. <laughs> So how long have you been doing this uh, itself? Uh, well, I studied fine art in here in Sligo and I kind of left that to one side for a while and did a whole load of other things. And then mm. the fine art side didn't really uh, work for me. So I started making little kind of cartoony things and yeah. they went down really well and I really enjoyed doing them. So the more I did them, the more people re responded to them and kind of said, you know what, I could try making cards out of them. Actually, it was Val Robus said to me I should try making cards. She just keeps so sneaking up on this programme. She might be watching again. How are you going to Val? Yeah. Val on last week in case I never missed it, but just so she was so, the first one to Yeah, she's the one that kind of went, go on, do it. Kind of, and I went, yeah, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> um, and this is only a few years so ago. So this now, is, yeah, yeah, 2019. Mm. Um, and then end of 2019, I did the uh, Strand Hill Market for a couple of months. And then, of course, everything went kaput. Yes. Um, but uh, so... I'd have brought it online then after that. Okay. And, and I mean, we'll have a look in a few moments near the end here at some of the products, but what is it? If someone says, what do you sell? Oh, yeah. So. Cards is what's kind of taken over at the minute. Um, but I would sell pins, uh, badges, brooches, necklaces, uh, prints. I'm hoping to get a couple of fine art prints going soon as well. Oh, okay. So, so I'm fine always, coming back again, maybe. So. Yeah, I'm always trying to broaden what I'm oh, doing yeah, yeah. and I've done some murals and uh, actually the first mural I've done in a long time there a couple of weeks ago for a kid's bedroom and I loved doing it so was this the pink one with the leaves on the tree I've the seen leaves, this online yeah. actually so it's fabulous and I know when I used to work in Fifth and Teeling you did some of the wall artwork yeah, outside that's right, at yeah. so I know you used to I'm trying to remember, was it poetry or something we put up in it and a mix of things? Yeah, Yeats poem and with a poetry to Yeats as so, well. so if someone wants their walls painted inside, outside or Absolutely. windows. Absolutely. <laughs> so anyone out there, businesses looking to get their windows or walls done, I can assure I you can this do lady it. does a really good job. Um, so, and obviously during COVID, uh, I seen you hosted some online classes. That's another thing you do. It's not just making things. So this was, our, I remember it was drawing for kids and was one of the ones. Yeah, I did a few things. I, I made some um, colouring pages and I did some colour along mm. days and showed people how to, um, you know, just blend colours and how to do that and got great feedback from that. Mm. And uh, I was doing that once a week. Then I did uh, something with the, the doc there a couple of weeks ago. Might be more of that. We'll see how things go. So that's you know. the Doc Art Centre in, yes, in Carrigan Channel. Channel. People are looking for the page. OK. Um, with the colour along ones, I got a lovely, lovely message from someone who said that they used it as a lovely bonding moment with their kids. They coloured and their kids coloured along with them. And we don't really do that an awful lot at home. No. So, and when it's made an event. That's yeah. Perfect, so so it was really, really lovely to yeah, hear. Well, it was know. nice just the small things. It doesn't matter if a thousand people or not, but like that one or two. Yeah, messages, exactly. That's nice. yeah. Well, I mean, as I said, you are so bubbly and chirpy. It's perfect child <laughs> presenter material there. You know what I mean? That people with kids would engage, you know? And obviously you talked about COVID. Did you find your business kind of peaked up a bit or opened more doors or was it like a real difficult time? It's so weird. I don't know how it would have gone because it was so early mm. um, in the business. When it, But what did help was um, Leo, the local Leo office, they were yeah. offering a trading online voucher for 90% of it and I took high advantage of that. With both hands. And I uh, went, yeah, I want to do that because I wanted a website anyway. Mm. So I got my funding and I built the website myself and nice. got it running and 
Thing. Yeah. A good business success story from where a lot of business starts at the Strand Hill People's Market and then go to Leo. So you're like, kind of, people yeah. are starting, <laughs> yeah. there is lots of help out there to There to is, with, like. and they're so good there. They're really yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they're very yeah. nice and helpful. And working for yourself, like, do you love it or do you find certain parts going, this is a headache? It can it's be probably tough. Probably a mix. Yeah, it's a mix. I do like it because I'm doing what I want. Yeah. Um, but I did, like, the other day have a freak out because I thought of what's going on for Christmas. You know, it, right now is all oh, Christmas, 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 and getting the markets going. It's going to be online as well as the markets. I'm providing to shops now as well. I was going to say, so you're saying it's really getting, that's lovely to yeah. hear, but as you said, sometimes people go, it's a great, you're busy. It's like, it is, but when you're in that moment, it can be a bit of a, yeah. what are we going to do? So, but so like, of shops come, looking for your stuff. Come January, it'll be, well, just, I'll be able to chill then, yeah, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I've got a few people who have contacted me to get their stuff in the shops and other businesses have been asking to get my cards in gift boxes you know, okay, that they're yeah, sending yeah. out and stuff like that. It's, so it's really cool. And like some of your characters, I don't know if you have them all. What's the toilet roll one again? <laughs> what does it say? You can say, you can, you can say it. It says a shite. It's a toilet roll with a shite written on it. Yeah. And of course, that was inspired by the toilet roll shortage of 2020. There you go. See, COVID <laughs> has its silver lining. Yeah. I actually sent that to my my auntie-in-law in Germany. She loved it because she loves when someone from the West of Ireland says shite. Okay. So she loved that pin and she wears it. She teaches English over in Germany. So they must uh, be like, are we supposed to say that? So yeah. your badge so yeah, is yeah, traveling the world. So yeah, I have it as a badge. And I have it as a print as well. So you can frame it and put it in your bathroom, you know. <laughs> Just, I won't even ask. <laughs> so, uh, look, I mean, apart from all the amazing craft business, I suppose I came across you first and a lot of people would know your face from the music scene in Sligo. Mm-hmm. You've been involved in so many bands. I suppose uh, the famous mass band in McGargles and those famous yeah. Sundays. Like, And it's, it is a, it'd be lovely to see another venue that we could have that pokey kind yeah. of gigs back again. But like, they were great nights. They were and good then, crack. We we jammed together in Midlocklands, you know, was random great. nights, and then you obviously play with Aaron, yep. your husband, in the flight. The flight, yeah. So, like, is have you gigged lately, even online, or are you, any plans? We did a few online gigs over last year, um, but that kind of waned. Um, I think people were getting a bit well, a bit fatigued, probably. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we were better, anyway, yeah. personally. Yeah. But um, yeah, we've got gigs coming up um, soon. Um, we're in talks with a couple of places, but. I think I'm kind of more concentrating on on. Well, it sounds like you don't have a lot of time to be doing that <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's um, good. But good they were definitely going to continue with the music and. Yeah, yeah, and that's the flight, and you're on social media. People we are for yeah. yourselves, and you're also a keen ukulele player. Yes. And I know you have to rush off from here. A little is it? Tell people how they're going to watch or join <laughs> in tonight. Can anyone join in with this? They is can. Yeah. So I joined uh, this open mic called the, the Ukulele Tuesday there on. Um, they usually have a Tuesday night in the Stag's Head in Dublin, mm. but they brought it online and I was kind of watching them and just looking at what they were doing, going, oh, I'd love to join in and being a bit too shy about it. I know, I do get shy. Uh, okay, and, uh, I kind of believe that. <laughs> so I went one day, I was like, okay, just do it. Just go in and do its tune. And they said, come back again next week. So I did. And uh, they've started back in the Stag's Head the last couple of weeks and they asked me to take over the open mic online. Online part. Oh, cool. So if you go to Ukulele Tuesday on Facebook, there's a link to the Zoom open mic if you play the ukulele. Or you want um, to try it out. It's not serious, serious for everyone. Well, you can you join can in whatever, whatever level. Yeah. Is it? yeah. Um, okay, well, like you fun. get people that are complete beginners, people that are complete pros yeah. and everybody else a tune. And it's I think that's really it. I mean, nice. was it Brezzy? Gave out, yes. was it a thousand you can yeah, use? Or something crazy? Yeah. There's famous Hollywood actors, you know, they're really into it. It's one of those instruments that sounds lovely. Yeah. You can learn some basic songs, even if that's your level, you can get to join in. So get two or three chords and you're flying, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I actually, it's something I'd love to do in, in Sligo is set up a ukulele club kind of Well, once I'd a week. say there's plenty of venues that would yeah. love to have you. Yeah, so. I think that'd be great crack because yeah. I've had such crack online with them. Um, I think uh, doing it in person would be nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, as I said, things are starting to open up a bit more. So mm. any premises out there want a ukulele? Well, maybe not Tuesdays. You're busy on Tuesdays with ukulele. Oh, well, that's going to be wrapping up. This is only the second last week tonight. Oh, for, okay. So, okay. so, so after, after that. Yeah. Well, yeah, that sounds something to, to plan. Uh, so from the music, as I just even... I know music was huge in your family. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, was it your dad played music? Dad was a, f- a musician, yeah. Um, he would play like five nights a week, sometimes more, oh, okay. as like well as band, working during the day, show bands. Oh, okay. And then he'd like a two piece, da- like the dances, you know, mm. where you have your sandwiches at the break and all that crack. Lovely, good old school. <laughs> uh, and there's a couple, there's a few different bands. Like one I used to uh, sell his tapes at the door when I was like nine years old, you know, that kind of thing. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I'm the youngest of seven. Everybody is musical one way or another, mm. and 
Yeah, so uh, great, couldn't great, get away great from Great to it. go to your house for Christmas, though. So. Yeah, oh great gosh, session. yeah. And your famous cousin, Rory Gallery, Rory, right? Yeah. From the Revs. Yeah. And Jimmy's Women Win a Match. I don't one. know which people know more famous for, like, it's a yeah. class. So, and you were on stage and said earlier on in a 2FM talent show from the Yeah, when we were up today. 16, uh, yeah, this video was popped up today, throwback uh, from when we were both 16, and he went in for the 2FM Yacht Play song, song contest. And he came third, but I was back in vocals. And there's some yeah. wonderful dancing and uh, outfits. <laughs> Go <laughs> and check that out yeah, online. Yeah. I did see a few, clip, few yeah. seconds of the clip today. So you break into dance and outfits later, is it? Well, it was, Rory's, <laughs> Rory's um, shirt is quite large, collared. And he okay, came, very Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Well, uh, we're going to show people as best we can anyway. We're going to show you some of your products. So let's have a, a good nosy here. Hopefully we can show them to camera over here to my left. Just straight on. That, that okay? Brian behind the cameras there is going to be the boss of this. So these so, are your Christmas cards, is it? Yeah, this one is a new product. This is Christmas colouring cards. It okay. shows you all the ones in the back. That you won't be able to see them on the camera. Right, but, but we'll show them um, afterwards. Uh, so there's 10 colouring cards inside this and a couple of extra stickers, Christmas stickers as well. Um, so the kids can just colour their own card. And kids or adults. Or adults, sorry, or of adults. course. Or do it together. Yeah, or do it together. And it's it's really nice thing to do to get something that's personalised like that, you mm, know. Mm. Um, you have really funny Christmas cards I remember from last year. There's lots of quirky, there's a lot of humour in all your artwork. I right? do tend fun. to like a pun and yeah, things yeah. like this. Uh, this year I've got my Christmas party animals. Okay. And um, there's six in that pack. Um, there's things like Bark the Hairy Angels Did Sing. sing? <laughs> <laughs> Eat, Follow this. Drink and be meowy. Wow. Did you come up with all these yourself? I so did. Have you played uh, here on at home going, come on, let's I, come up with some funny ones? Well, he, he just kind of sits there and goes, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a glass of wine to help the creativity. <laughs> yeah. There's a Christmas quacker in there and a few other bits and pieces. Okay, so yeah, just so. really quirky novel yeah. cards, and I mean, you are as we it's become a thing now. Obviously, support a local craftsperson. Or yeah, business, the the, you know? the local support has been brilliant. Um, a lot of people are more and more people are wanting to support local. I feel for sure. Yeah, you know? there seems to be that just that one. There's the sustainability that. thing, and then there's the local thing, and yeah. you know. And I mean, now you're. And the last thing we'll have a quick look at if we can see <laughs> them is your beautiful badges. We've only got three. But I only brought three. I've got of billions of them. <laughs> yeah. Billions of them. So <laughs> not, quite, not quite. But I mean, they're uh, a really nice gift for a little stocking filler, yeah. or you know, someone that has an Easter nephew or a grandchild. They go, brooch. what would they like? So you've everything there from unicorns to foxes to and and more beyond and the ashite ashite toilet and roll if you want to go free and, hugs for, and for granddad or, yeah. or Christmas. Yeah. Well, Lisa, look, pleasure having you on. Great to chat to you. Find out more about the business and seeing some of the products and tell everyone where they can find you if they want to go shopping. Yeah, I'm on Instagram and Facebook and MissLilaSassafras.com. Um, and yeah, you can buy from all three as well. And you still at any markets, or is there any shops yes. you know selling these? Um, uh, uh, all things natural in town are oh, yes, selling them. We had them on before as well. I actually. am in the Weir Gallery uh, every Friday, personally. Is that your Oster? Yes. Yeah, okay. uh, and my stuff is in there. And if you wanted to come chat to me, I'm sitting I'm in the Weir every Friday. Um, and hopefully, we're actually going to start some um, adult craft and art lessons in there uh, very oh, soon so keep okay. an eye out so for that Friday, if you're walking down that way pop in and say hi yeah, and you can yeah. buy your stuff off you there yeah. well. excellent well lisa thanks for coming on the show and best of luck with your ukulele class okay we'll you. i'll just say goodbye and then we'll let you run home <laughs> thanks very much